this Belka's playing as Belka's behind everything. I never played any account with Belka, so I actually don't know who Belka is, except I know that everyone in chat shouts Belka every time anything bad happens. You're gonna have to catch me up on who Belka is. Pursued by multiple tanks and APCs. They'll all go down if we don't pull back the landing craft. And what? Abandoned Tango 2 3? Something's not right. God damn it, it's this IFF shit again. Tango 2 3, we don't have the firepower to assist you. You're on your own. Wow, rep. Please, we need help. Wagtail is on the Ocean landing ship. What's going on? What did you say? Hold up. Multiple bogeys inbound. Damn it. Prepare for anti air combat. No, we're friends. The AWACS Longcaster. The aircraft in your area belong to the LRSSG. Strider 1 destroyed target. Allied aircraft. A retreating vehicle is taking fire. Requesting assistance. Roger. Yeah, Roger on that. ID complete. Roger. Update us on Tyler Island. Our air support is going to be worse. Our forces are scattered and on the run. They're on the run? We were waiting for retreating units here to carry them out to safety. Do me a favor, Longcaster. Many of our allies are cut off. We need support and an escape route. Understood. We'll do what we can. Let's help retreating Ocean forces. Take out any hostiles in their area. Don't engage till targets are ID'd. Oh, I hate the not engaging till targets are ID'd. More people shooting at them. Thanks. It's absolute chaos out there. The Erujians are even starting to fight amongst themselves. Well, now we know what's going on, but shit. But it sucks. Cool, it's friendly bird. We got the hostiles in our area. Get us out of this hellhole. We need help over to the line. Where are you? Oh shit, what? War crimes. Literal war crimes. Jesus, they're firing at each other. Is this the norm around here? It's all crazy people. We are in the middle of a mission to take back the mesh driver. The flight the mission depot is highly combined. Can we flank the enemy and strike them from behind? Missile. 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 Strider 1, APC destroyed. Jesus! I see now, I gotta keep going until I find the allies. Here we go. Long caster. We're uploading Nicole. the latest ID data. Nicole. Check your TAC terminal. 
Die, you little asshole. They're enemies. Strider Squadron, you're near an armada of bogies. Identify them. Identification complete. It's Erosion bombers and their escorts. Count's prophecy has come true. Take out all bombers, or they'll flatten our allies. Plenty of civilian casualties as well. Precision bombs is impossible in these conditions. Maybe they know they can't. We're gonna drop them all. It's like yeah, I just blew through the fuselage. You guys can handle these guys. Count me in. 
That's right. Don't leave the wounded. Jesus. Mission complete. Okay, Scrap Queen. Send us the target coordinates. I'm thinking about how I do that. Don't you have a laser target indicator? Why would she? How did we not see those things? The supply ships have been launched from the mass driver. If the supply ships make it to the arsenal bird, they'll be able to resupply it. They may be loaded with new weaponry that we don't even know about. We have no choice but to take down the supply ships before they can get within the arsenal bird's air defense network. You've got to hurry or you're not going to make it. Three minutes to the enemy's air defense network. Look at that formation! Get him off my ass! You're gonna have to forget about him for now. Focus on destroying that supply ship first. We're sitting ducks like this. Let the supply ship get too far away, we'll never be able to catch it. The supply ship's in the cloud. It's that shit again. Did you see that explosion? Looks like that's one of them down. Remember, there are two supply ships out there. Hurry up and shoot the other one down. Calculated the remaining time. Hope you're all enjoying the pretty fireworks. This thing had any windows, we could have seen it for ourselves. Nice work, team. What is the blue shit? Find yourself a boat and leave this island. We'll be taking the refugees, along with any deserters from I the shoot blue military. shit. Maybe it's Who's more lazy. Who's the girl that ran tanks with the smoke canister? A few more crazies like her, and life down there may have been a tad bit easier. What do you think would have happened to those refugees if you hadn't intervened? The That's princess beautiful. saw what happened. They were little kids. That's why I like the sky. You don't have to see those types of things. Does this mean we're that much closer to ending the war? No, we just basically prevented it from going on forever. Counts right. We have no choice but to return to our original base. Our base that is nearly out of food and fuel. We need to do something.
Don't have to see the results of your war crimes. That was a cool mission. Mr. Rand's up for five months in a row. Tez and G subscribed. General Spin 12, 44 months in a row. Tier 2 sub. Thank you very much. For that Good. again. Take a seat. Everyone's here. All right. Good work in sinking the supply ships. Not to mention saving the refugees. However, we're in no position to start celebrating. Even the commander here is starting to fray from the stress. Can't say I blame him. Now, Tyler Island is in a state of complete anarchy. This base isn't safe either. The faces you see around you are the only friends we've got. Take a good look. That was a cool mission. God, can you imagine? I know there's a gun only medal. Can you imagine trying to do this campaign with a gun only medal? And I know there's a gun only I don't know how I did. Like, when you're younger, shit is crazy. I did AC6. I played through AC6 and I loved it so much that I immediately did another playthrough of AC6 and I gun only did it. I think I got. Is it gun only and no damage? I think I gun only and no damage did it or something. I don't remember. It was one and then the other. I, either I did it twice or did both at once, but that sounds insane. But one of them sounds insane. I can't believe I fucking did that. But I remember I definitely gun only did it. And I don't know how I had that kind of time. When you're young, shit is more possible. When you're young, shit is, shit is more possible, I guess. I don't have that kind of time anymore to gun only no damage AC7. That'd be a lot of restarts. But I really liked AC6. We found a boat, then sailed away from the island. We had to. We didn't belong there. The new guy's name was George. I noticed when the anarchist said his name, he said it with a thick Belkan accent. How Belkans. did you know that he was from Belka? He hasn't got knee on the end. Well, both my parents were from Belka, so... You never told me that. They say that Belkans are known for their conspiracies. <laughs> That's just a stereotype. Now, I simply stated my honest opinion and was thrown in jail for it. The princess sat there looking miserable. That was a dumbass stunt she pulled back there, but it got us on this boat. Take a look at that. This ship is heading for a single rope that's hanging down from the sky. Do you know how far the end of that rope reaches? Space. Outer space. <laughs> that really was the line. <laughs> no. I was wrong. It is a direct connection oh, to shut the up. very potential of mankind itself. And space. Or at least it was until war erupted. It's my strong belief that the rope might be connected to a very distant, faraway source of of great conflict and strife. Even long before the war. The whole world started falling apart once Harling began trying to build. Belkan ultranationalists are responsible for like half the wars. Does that make them the I Russians of this world? The same way Call of Duty uses Russian ultranationalists to do all its pl campaign plots. When he was trying to destroy the very thing that so many people were sacrificed in order to create. Plot. Sacrificed? What do you mean? Have you seen all of those countless old space shuttles on Tyler Island that are no longer in use? Yeah. Belka's Nazi Germany. I always oh. thought of them as a good source of scrap. They're an obsolete technology that was abandoned during the construction of the space elevator. Which would mean that if the space elevator was destroyed, it would be that much harder for mankind to reach the stars. Until we find another Commie way. Nazis. East Germans and United Germany. Okay, I'll take but your word for then, it. even then, Harling still went ahead and tried to destroy it. At the cost of his own life. That's not the way I heard it. What I heard was that he sacrificed himself to protect the tower from an incoming missile. Oh, 
I was told he tried to fly his ship into the tower in order to destroy it. That would not have worked. I wonder which story is true, your royal highness. I don't think the Osprey would have... I don't know. <laughs> Looking at it objectively, it's reasonable to believe that Harling had both options before him. When it comes to which one you think he took, I guess it's like a mirror. Yes, it is. It's like a mirror looking into your own soul, based on whichever choice you believe it was. At the moment, though, I can only see darkness. And the space elevator. You're gonna see darkness because your eyes are closed. I think that Open thing your eyes. should be destroyed. Time for the briefing. It's Harling, Hello, America's it's a drone. With it's HQ, a drone of Harling. It's not like this is an official mission. Anyway, it looks like the seizure of Tyler Island and the relief from Osea have been postponed. In the meantime, we just have to do what we can to survive. Since losing That's its capital city of Fravanti, <laughs> the Rusian forces have separated into smaller, autonomous factions. I just noticed that. It looks like Irusia's largest force and leading faction will pass through the area around this base. There's a dude with a mouse doing it! The space elevator is significant to them. Because the satellite's so off. probably heading there. Should we intercept? Why? I doubt they're going to start a fight now. Our top priority should be to get home. Let's go already. Yeah. It's not like we have the supplies, power, or even a real reason to put up a fight. Fuck! But, what are we going to do if they bring the fight to us? Fuck, fuck! We need to be ready to push them back. If we head inland from here towards Zeruja, there's an old castle that's been converted into a stockpiling base. Shalaji Castle. It's currently occupied by some of the Erusian forces that broke off. We need ammo and fuel. They appear to have converted a freeway into a runway, so we can expect them to have the capacity for air combat. But they'll be easier to handle than Arusha's lead faction. Well, we can't use all our aircraft to attack. The transport carrying the stolen supplies needs support. Okay, Strider Squadron. You head out first, and neuter the dogs at the stockpiling. <laughs> Rendezvous with Cyclops Squadron, who will bring the transport. Then we bring the supplies back to this base. Got it. Aircraft are our only threat. Sounds good. We'll make it. We're all gonna fly home. Together. <laughs> <laughs> so... Blow up a bunch of AA positions. Okay. Yeah, they did say we're all gonna make it home together. <gasps> it's time! Wait, it's not quite time. It's almost time. One more mission and it's time, but we can buy it. Firestorm. Super plane. But I haven't got enough. I haven't got enough for the uh, plissel. I need to get the plissel. Next, next mission. Squadron aircraft prep complete. You're cleared to taxi. 